Hello, Mr. Ed. And I know you got to be wondering, Mr. Ed, what are you doing sitting inside of the truck talking? Well, I'm at the job right here across the lake, and uh, the wind is blowing so hard, you wouldn't even be able to hear me what I'm talking over the wind. Uh, it's, it's about 60 degrees outside right now. Um, and like I said, I'm on the other side of the lake. I'm in Metairie, Louisiana, um, which is about 38 miles from, from the Abbey. To get here, you got to cross Lake Pontchartrain, which is uh, um, the lake that separates New Orleans and the North Shore. Uh, it's also uh, the bridge, the longest bridge in the world, a uh, single span bridge over, over water. So that's like the claim of fame for the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. But today, like I said, I'm in Metairie, and I'm going to be removing some uh, bees uh, from a floor joist. Now, um, rock, rocket scientist Steve won't be with us today, uh, and he wanted to come. Uh, the only problem is that Steve had a really tragedy this week. Uh, his house burnt down. And so he asked if uh, y'all keep him in his prayers, um, him and his wife Carol, for their, during their rebuilding time. But we're going to go ahead and remove this bee um, from this house right here. I'm going to grab the camera. Hopefully that wind won't be blowing too hard that you won't be able to hear what I'm saying, showing you where they are. And uh, we're going to be uh, removing these bees from the inside of the house as opposed to the outside. So let me grab the camera and show you what we're looking at. And there's their entrance right there. It's flying all over there. We're going to go ahead and remove these things from the inside of the house. So blessings of God. These girls in just a little while are going to be in their new home, the Abbey, across the lake. Well, here we are upstairs. Um, the homeowner's already uh, taken up the carpet for us, and uh, this is where the bees are. Look, I'm gonna show you on the on the camera, on the heat camera. Let's see. There it is. It is a pretty long one. And that's just between the floor joists, thankfully, and uh, I don't. That's just where the bees are. You can see where the light is. That's where the bees are, but. Uh, the comb may extend even further back. So that's a good four foot right there. And then I don't know how much further the, um, the comb is, may come back another two, three, I don't know, feet behind that. But there are a lot of bees out there. And with that heat signature right there, um, there's a lot of bees in there. So the process that I'm gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, actually just cut between the, uh, the floor joists, between that stud right there and this stud right here. and uh, I'm going to put some handles on the piece of plywood and then I'm going to cut through it and cut the comb along the sides of it and uh, then actually lift the thing up and then put it on the saw horses. That's the plan. Let's see and by the grace of the God that's going to happen for us and we really get that comb out of there in, in basically one piece. So let's uh, see how it works out. Well, so, here you go. How about that? Got that piece out in one section. Unbelievable. There's only, let's say there's two pieces that fell on the ground right there. And there's mm -hmm. two that broke off inside of the hole. Mm -hmm. But other than that, the whole hive is intact. And I'm sure that queen is up in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be looking for her. Mm -hmm. So with the grace of God, go ahead and get this stuff cut up and framed up. And these girls will be up at the Abbey. I'm gonna start vacuuming right now.
Well, 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 well. Look at that. Jesus has smiled upon us. Thank you, Jesus, for that little gift. That, that queen was so big that even the dirt rooster could have seen her. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Jesus, for that blessing. And we're going to go ahead and finish backing these things up. I can move a little bit more quicker now, now that I don't have to worry about finding her. So let's catch, go ahead and back in some more bees. We'll set her right on top of the brood. And we'll go ahead and finish up. Well, we got all the uh, comb vacuumed up, cleaned up. All this is cut up. All we got left to do is vacuum all these bees out of the windows. <laughs> The and there's that queen right there. I'm just going to vacuum up the rest of these bees. And we're going to head up to the abbey. It won't be much longer now. All right. It's over with. At least on this side of the lake. It's about 435. And I'm headed back across the lake and we'll pick it up over there. Here we go. Back up at the abbey. And uh, I'll already go ahead and, and uh, turn the bees loose. Release the queen. And uh, open it up. And they're kind of like angry. So I'm sitting in the truck again, finishing up the video. It was a pretty good day. I, I, I think we hit in that, that 15, 18,000 uh, bees. I mean, probably four or five, maybe even six pounds of bees that are vacuumed up. But they're all in there. I released the queen onto a frame, um, stuck her in the box, pulled, uh, pulled out the uh, um, screen that, that kept all the bees in the vacuum box and opened up the gate. So everybody will move up into the uh, brood box and everything will be good because it's the temperature is still supposed to get down into the upper 50s tonight so those bees need to get on that brood all right oh yeah one thing else uh, i did get a little lanyap out of that uh, little hive close to uh, two maybe even more three gallons of honey out of that so uh the monks will be getting a special treat from uh from the new orleans bees but it is some really good good honey so i'm going to close it up now but uh before i do I'm going to leave with the uh, little beekeeper highlight section. And today I'm going to uh, highlight um, a beekeeper in Michigan, Barbara Rose. Man, with that last name like Rose, you know she's going to do well keeping bees. She, uh, she's she been keeping bees only for one year. And uh, she started with a, a, a package bee. I think she said two-pound package. And uh, by the end of the summer, she, she actually split it. And uh, she had two hives. So uh, I'm going to leave you with some pictures uh, of, of Barbara's bees, as she calls them, her girls. And uh, I'll thank you for watching, and uh, keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here. That is, until the next video.